ورد فيه بليز 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 الحمد لله يا الله انت قاعد مع فيبر فيس إن المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات. Even the female next to him chants on his left. She puts her hand in that position as well. Check out our sponsors, Nature's Blends. They specialize in premium Ethiopian black seed products. The website is in the description link below. You can also use the discount code Salam10 for 10% of their products. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Brothers and sisters and dear friends Welcome to another video First I want to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The most merciful, the most just All praises, glory and gratitude belong to him um, Alhamdulillah, so basically I got sent this video And I, I don't really know chunks I don't know him much I don't know, I, I, I heard that he he done like rap video Look, I don't know much about him I'll be honest with you guys I genuinely don't know much about him at all uh, I know Brother Smadha Jannah done a video about him um, A couple of months ago uh, That's it, I don't know much about him But when I was watching this video uh, Which was sent to me just to have a look I randomly came across this part in the video and I found it quite interesting and I thought there was a lot of lessons to be learned because at the end of the day a lot of people uh, maybe the industry the chunk, the chunks um, is involved in we can't per say per se it's, it's, it's quite um, halal uh, you know uh, be it the free mixing or many elements that we can uh, list uh, but something caught my attention so let's watch this video let's react to it it's not that long yeah. Okay, guys, the next one is going to be meat and fish. Now, meat and fish is my speciality. This is, this is, the, this this is, is the one is... I'm going to give you right there. Go on. Ready. Okay, you guys ready? Uh -huh. Okay. I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm just worried for you. Please, please, fish, fish, Harry, fish, Harry. fish, fish. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, I love that. And that's my favourite fish. Did you guys catch that? So, he said, uh, Alhamdulillah. Yeah? Uh, now, we're going to come to why... You, a lot of you guys might watch this and be like, okay, it's just a phraseology. You know, just used to it, etc. Um... Not really, but let's 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 carry on. Let's carry on. Don't forget. So the first thing that was uh, we saw there was um, something revealed, and him saying Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Okay. So let's carry on. Which one? That's my favorite fish. Uh, first things first. What's yeah. that? I never knew that they have these things in Africa. Okay. African snail. Ah, so African snail. I'll be honest. Now is this hey, crazy? No I'm eating it. Yeah, Nella, we're gonna chill back. All the diet things you get. Why? Me, me bro. Much. Last you time it was gizzards. Now it's African you know snail. So that's what you get. So my ingredients are. Butternut squash. Sorry. Darkest head top. That's good. Red chichichori. Yeah. No, no. That's a Pokemon. Um, <laughs> African snail. Watch them bring out the mm. big f of snails. <laughs> it's gonna be like, literally, it's on the plate, on the plate. <laughs> <laughs> I know. White, white rice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And bird's eye chili. Right, white rice with snails? Don't be like that. On, 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 my, on my, my episode. So that's prayer. That's what I've been doing this. Yeah, gonna, that was amazing. That that's amazing. Amazing. Okay, so now, when I'm watching this, because usually my wife has the same app that has the same advan. So I was watching, um, I was listening to it in the car, and when I went off, I thought it was her phone. Then I realised when they had the reaction, uh, as you can see, putting their hands there, um, and the guest, and you can hear what the guest says, the guest says, actually, that's amazing. Uh, even the female next to him, chunks on his left, she puts her hand in that position as well. That's a... But Harry, before we get... So now, there's a few things I want to touch upon, because it's very important. Now, I, I, I don't, like I said before, I don't know chunks. I don't know much about him. I don't know what, what he does. Um, but I'm sure, like... <laughs> All of us, or maybe, no, he's an influencer, maybe he does things that are not permissible, yeah? Like I said before, I don't know much, maybe there's rap, uh, etc. There's a certain swear word that he uses, etc. I'm not trying to be nitpicking here. And there's certain things that he's doing, etc. Even free mixing, yeah? Because I don't even need to be honest here. If that was a hijabi sister, um, and there was a um, a male there next to her, and touching him, etc., touching her, etc., we would all lose the plot. And let's be consistent here, yeah? Because I didn't date male or female, that's what Pano Watala doesn't differentiate. Yeah, when it comes to lowering the gaze. And this video is not about that per se, okay? I'm not here to pinpoint on people's uh, mistakes, etc. And then they, people who do big mistakes and um, promote haram outright to their followers. Yes, you know, we try to advise our brothers, etc. And we would expect the same from us. But this video was on a few reactions. Number one, him using the phrase, uh, the phrase Alhamdulillah. Yes, or praise belong to Allah. Then the adhan going off on his phone. Yeah, and then uh, he's saying that salah time. You can see the reaction that he had on his guests and they're like, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, and then you see even the sister next to her, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide her and all, everyone as well, uh, putting their hands there. So they, so they so they kind of acknowledge and, and know. Now, a lot of the times, brothers and sisters, a lot of us sin. We're all sinners. And we, like I sin as well, yeah? Maybe not publicly. I try to abstain from sinning publicly. But this doesn't necessitate that makes me better than you. You know, because there might be something that you do that is more beloved to Allah than me, than all the da'wah work that I do. I don't even know if it will be uh, accepted. So the point is, this message and this video I'm doing is for those out there who might be involved in certain industries or might be doing haram, etc. And they know it is, but they do not let go of 
their deen. This is very fundamental because the shaitan comes and attacks you. How? I've got the book here again. Yeah, devil's deception. You guys got to read it. Devil's deception. Devil, the shaitan comes to you and you know one of his biggest tricks are? You know what's one of the biggest tricks? Let me tell you. Here's one of his biggest tricks is what? To make you feel guilty. Yeah? How does he do that? You go clubbing. And then after that, what would you come and say? You've gone clubbing now? And now you want to go and pray salah? Now you want to go and do this and that? You went and committed a major sin. You committed zina. Yeah? And now you want to go and pray? You went and drank alcohol? Even though I would say, ah, you're, uh, the one who drinks alcohol, their salah is not valid for 40 days. Your salah is not even valid, bro. You're not even praying salah. No. That's the deception of shaitan. You still need to pray. It means it's not valid, but you still need to pray. Brothers and sisters, salah is something that is indebted to Allah. If your uh, um, landlord comes and asks for the rent, you're not going to say, oh, I can't, I can't do it, I can't pay because of this. No, 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 you have to pay the rent. You know, salah is the rights upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is why it's very important, brothers and sisters. If I'm not mistaken, Mu'ad ibn Jabal, he was traveling with the Prophet, peace be upon him. And he said, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, oh, Mu'ad, do you know what is the rights of the slave upon Allah, he said, Allah and his messenger knows best. He said, it is that you uh, worship him, him and him alone. Yeah? And obviously doing the acts, etc. And then he said, oh Muad, do you know what is the rights of uh, of Allah upon his servants? And he said, what is it, O oh, Messenger of Allah? You and Allah knows best. Yeah? He said, is that as long as you worship him alone, that he will not punish you. So brothers and sisters, do not be deceived from the shaitan. Because even though Chunks might be living a lifestyle that is not per se Islamically correct, and there's things that he does he should work on, alhamdulillah, and we all should work on, the point here is this. He does not, the word alhamdulillah, for him to use that anytime something good happens, it's a good sign. It's a good sign. These little things that you yourself might carry, don't let go of these. Don't think I'm a sinner, I shouldn't even use alhamdulillah anymore. This is the plot of shaitan. Because the more he moves you away from Islam, the better. If he can stop using alhamdulillah, what are you going to use instead of that? Oh, thank God. Or, uh, or thank God. No, use alhamdulillah. That's good because that alhamdulillah that is in your subconscious mind, one day can click and bring you back. In the context of, I'm not saying leaving the follow of Islam, but it can bring you closer, alhamdulillah. Or praise belong to Allah. That is tawheed. That is acknowledging all praises belong to Allah. And you're not worshipping any other than that. And, and it's very, very profound. There was a scholar, I can't remember. He said, it is more beloved for somebody to lie while taken off by Allah than to tell the truth by taking it off by other deities. I repeat again, lying is a big thing. And the Prophet ﷺ hated liars. And he said the believer is nothing, anything but a liar. But here the scholar is trying to say something very important. He's saying it is more beloved that somebody lies, saying, Wallahi, I didn't, taking an oath by Allah, than telling the truth and saying, oh, I swear by um, my cow god, or I would be like Jesus, or this, that. That is more beloved than taking an oath uh, by other uh, de- uh, false deities. So, you can see that subhanAllah, his salah, he's got, for him to have the adhan, that means he's conscious of his salah. That even on a future, that is, that I'm sure he didn't just you know, put that there for the sake of it. You know, we assume the best in our brother. So you can see that his salah is reminded, and that is beautiful. Because no matter what he might be doing and the struggles that he's having up and down, and I'm sure he might be watching this maybe, the fact that he's got his salah on check and that like, boom, it's salah time. And that is so fundamental. And this goes for every single one of you guys. No matter what sin you do, Look, whatever sin you do, yes, do not let go of your salah. Do not, I'm repeating it, do not let go of your salah. That is your building block. When things go sour, that's what you're going to fall upon. And that is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says it takes you, keeps you away from fahsha, from uh, evil deeds, etc. And subhanAllah, and I'm going to end with this verse uh, in Surah Ahzab, verse 35, if I'm not mistaken. And this is a direct verse that, was, that came down where female servants asked for something that directly... Um, quotes them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran and this is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala specifically addresses the male and the female and listen carefully what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say innal muslimina wal muslimati wal mu'minina wal mu'minati wal qanitina wal qanitati was sadiqina was sadiqati was sabirin was sabirina was sabirati wal khashiina wal khashiyati wal mutasaddiqina wal mutasaddiqati was saimina was saimati wal hafidin wal hafidin furujahum wal hafidati wal dhakirin Allah kathiran wal dhakirati adda Allah lahum maghfiratan wa ajran nadima Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Surely for Muslim men and Muslim women, believe in men and believe in women, devote men and devote women, 
truthful men and truthful women, patient men and patient women, humble men and humble women, charitable men and women, fasting men and fasting women, men and women who guard their chastity, and men and women who remember Allah often. For all of them, Allah has prepared forgiveness and a great reward. Brothers and sisters, I want to end with that verse, and you can see, Wallahi, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst those He's just mentioned here. And let's struggle and strive and let's not give up. No matter what sins you're committing, stick, stick firm to the robe of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are all sinners and the best of sinners are those who repent. I hope this video can be sent to Trunks and he can watch it and benefit. I don't need him to give me a shower or anything like that. I would just uh, I just came across this video and I just wanted to react to it and benefit for all of you guys inshallah as well as him. Till next time, may Allah bless you guys inshallah. Let's not give up and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite every single one of us in Jannah. Accept our deeds, make us sincere. Uh, and that's it brothers and sisters do not forget to like and subscribe inshallah if you want if you don't want to you don't have to you better do till next time assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh